your pain as a result. It's been very heart wrenching, and even now, it's something we haven't got it up to full steam. So, the ironic part is that the raids and the publicity meant that our membership started to increase. Well, it's been growing anyway. And so demand has gone up while our supply has gone down. So we've had to put limits on the amount that we can buy at once so that our kitchen doesn't get kicked out by so Sometimes we can put in buy a couple hundred dollars worth of edibles and that cleans it up pretty quick. How much pressure do I should say somebody to buy a couple hundred bucks. We're, um, we're probably, um, probably 250 a day, 250 a day. Day. And is that um, and then there's other edible and skin products too. Are you doing it in the same or do you have different locations? Uh, oh, one location is, is tricky enough. Um, there's so many different products and things to coordinate and such. It's been very difficult. Um, <coughs> but uh, oh. Maybe you sell closer to each day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We go through th two, three or four hundred dollars with edible and skin products a day. Yeah. You know, most of what we sell is the smoked hurt, but um, we could charge a lot more. Like the cookies are 75 cents a cookie. Most clubs across the country sell them at least $2, some as much as 8 So we're selling them like far below what we could. So when I say three or four hundred dollars worth of edibles, we could charge double that and people would still pay. But we're not going to make them do that. Um, so on the issue of the edible and food products, my friend Owen has worked very diligently. Maybe I'll bring you over here. Um, and uh, we now have, and we'll be putting this up online today, a uh, complete uh, online uh, recipe book for the Cannabis Buyers Club. And uh, it will be on our webpage and as many other places as we can as well. But you'll find that we have uh, put here uh, all of our various products. There's uh, pictures of them and information on how to do everything here. My friend Gail Quinn has been instrumental in designing many of the products that we have. Again, there's 29 food and skin products that are club sells, so it's quite an extensive variety of Things. We have St. John's Wort Oil, Arnica Wild Yam Oil, and some of our massage oils, and we have sobs and all sorts of great things. And so we're happy to go public uh, with our recipe book and teach the world how these various products uh, can and, and should be made. Although there's lots of ways to make medicine out of cannabis, this is just how we do it. And so while my friend Gail has designed most of these things, uh, Owen is taking it on to be the you know, real public spokesperson with people around the world that will be able to answer questions and give advice and, and discuss other options people have with making medicine out of the cannabis plant. We will hopefully learn through that process as well because people are experimenting with cannabis uh, all around the world right now, which is one of the reasons why doing some research and standardizing some product lines is really important to us. And on that note, my, my final topic is um, this research project that we've been working on for really four and a half years now, no, five and a half. But uh, we have a comparative analysis of cannabis to prescription drugs that we're now taking to the next level. It's essentially a cost-benefit analysis, and we're going to be doing interviews and annual reviews, and the hope is that we'll be able to immediately upon joining our club, interview someone about their current use, if any, of cannabis and prescription drugs, and year after year, be able to document any changes in their health in their prescription drug use or in the amount of cost that the cannabis is. Uh, and so it is our hope that we're going to be able to prove that, say, for example, a lot of people join our club and they smoke pot for you know, their back pain. Um, and we'll prove that not only can we get them off prescription drugs, but by eating cookies, they'll spend less money on their cannabis and their health will improve at the same time. 
So it's a win-win-win situation. And for those that have never experienced cannabis, certainly using our edible and skin products as opposed to prescription drugs is in some cases even cheaper because you can't get all the drugs for free out there anymore anyway. And so uh, this cost-benefit analysis is critical. Um, according to early indications, with between three and five dollars a day in cannabis use, we're saving between ten and twenty-five dollars a day in prescription drug costs. So if there's, and we have three thousand members of our club, that means that we're saving possibly between thirty and seventy-five thousand dollars a day in prescription drug costs by supplying medicine. This is going to prove that. <laughs>